Hey guys, today I'd like to take a look at a pretty cool mask and uh, and one that um, has a movie tie-in and so um, it has additional interest um, outside, um, you know, simply the mask collecting world and that is the 2010 Don Post Studios Jeepers Creepers. Uh, now this um, mask is one that um, is known in the Don Post catalogs as Jeepers Creepers. Um, the name of the movie um, that this is from, as I'm sure everybody knows, is entitled Jeepers Creepers. Uh, and I, I'm not an expert on this movie. There are some real fanatics um, of this movie, real fans that really know everything about um, the movie. But, um, but I do know that the, the monster, this monster in the movie, is um, really known as Creeper. Um, and so that, that, as far as I know, is the name of the, the actual character of this, of this monster in the movie. Um, but again, the movies, as, as everyone knows, are, are entitled um, Jeepers Creepers. Uh, the, original, um, the original movie came out in 2001 and uh, there was um, two sequels to it. And, um, and so this, this mask actually came out quite a while uh, after that original movie um, and uh, in coming out in 2010 in, in a Don Post catalog. Um, so let me start, I guess, first here um, and show you this page um, from Pete's great website at the Devil's Workshop. Thanks for your archive, Pete. Now this um, page shows this uh, mask in 2010 as new, um, but you'll see here um, something a little interesting uh, is that it, it also states that it is pend pending licensor approval. Um, so at this this point, um, it looks like you know they were they had it in the catalog and they had a deal for the license underway, but it wasn't finalized at that time. Uh, and so in the next year, 2011, it, it was also uh, in the catalog um, with the same exact page. Um, the only thing that was different um, that you can see here is that um, pending license or approval note um, is gone. And then its final year, and, and in fact, Don Post's final year in 2012. Uh, here's that page from that catalog. It's it's grouped onto um, onto the page here with a couple of other well-known movie um, masks. One is Leprechaun, the other RoboCop. Um, so basically, um, it, it's there for three years, and it, it was the same photo uh, in the catalog for all three years, uh, although the page layout differed just a little bit. Uh, so as I said, the, the movie came out in 2001. Um, it was starring... Um, as the main protagonist, Justin Long uh, and Gina Phillips. And I remember, uh, I haven't seen that, that movie in quite a while, but I do remember that um, the beginning um, half or so, maybe three quarters of the movie, I was completely um, uh, involved, you know, as far as thinking that this is a great horror movie, you know. And then I, I seem to remember... You know, this is not a movie uh, review, but I seem to remember the movie kind of lost me at some point um, as the movie went on. And I, I in researching this video, uh, I noticed some reviews had similar feelings about it. Um, but but as I said, there's fans of this movie that, you know, are really experts and fanatics and they know more than I do. And probably already will note some of the things I might have said that are incorrect about the movie. But, um, but as you can see, this mask is... Um, it's not a bad mask. It's a little bit, um, I guess, not quite the dark. Um, doesn't have quite the dark nature of the character in the movies, in my opinion. Um, and um, I could be wrong about that, but from what I remember and what I can see, um, here, let me show you a couple pics here. Um, here's the poster first from the movie, the original movie. And, um, and then here's a couple of pictures of this character. Always seem to be in shadows for the most part. Um, seemed to be a darker look to the character, more evil and mysterious looking, I guess you could say. Um, also, here's another um, photo you might see, you might, um, I guess, look, see as a familiar image with the hat and the overcoat as well. And now Don Post never offered a hat for this. Um, it was just the mask shown in the catalogs, as you saw. And this mask is, it's kind of neat um, in that it has the movie poster here. Um, that is the movie poster that you saw. Um, this one has a price tag that has um, been put over that. It appears to be probably a $20 price tag that was put on at one time in its life. Um, but it, it's neat that it has the movie 
um, poster there and uh, the standard back um, information on the Don Post tag. Um, this also has a, um, a few tags on the inside here. Um, it has a barcode tag first, and then there's two other tags. I'll show you pictures of those. Here they are. Um, the first tag is um, copyright for um, the film companies, 2001 for United Artists, and then 2010 for MGM. The second tag is here, and that's a 2010 Don Post Studios tag, also showing Paper Magic, and um, shown that it was made in China. Now this uh, mask, I, it's fairly thickly cast. Um, as you can see, it holds its shape fairly well. Um, it's not super thick, but it's, it's thick enough to hold its shape. Now the hair placement um, is much more robust in the catalog photo, uh, different type of hair there. Let me show you that again here. Um, this mask has a very um, sparse um, and a, you know, a cheaper looking type of hair applied. I don't know if this mask had more hair originally from the factory. Uh, I can't tell if, you know, a lot of this hair has fallen out or if this is the way it came from the factory. I, I really don't have any other way of knowing as I, um, I don't have another copy of this, only this one, so I'm not really sure. Um, one of the things you might see here also is um, you can really see the darkened glue. It's not as bad as some of the masks from China that I've seen, but it is darker um, than probably when it was first applied uh, over the years. Um, they tend to darken up. Paint job is pretty good. It's pretty, um, you know, quickly done, you can tell. But there are some sort of drips or mistakes, if you will, um, where that paint kind of... Um, maybe got where it shouldn't have or some solvent sprayed out of there and, and kind of thinned it out. So it's not perfect, um, you know, but it, it it's it's okay, f I guess, for what it is. Um, you know, it's it's a movie tie-in mask and it's um, fairly, fairly well done. Um, it's cast in, um, you can see here, in, in um, sort of a close match the latex the natural latex is a close match to the color of the mask so there probably wasn't a lot of painting needed as far as the base color on this thing but um another um, sort of thing um to note is um another famous character almost it, it became a character in the movie is the truck that the creeper drove uh in in the movie and here's a photo of that truck just one photo that i'll show you here it, it's a really cool looking uh, truck and I remember being struck by that truck just an evil crazy looking thing and just something um, neat to note um, I guess this truck is making the tour in the um, in the convention rounds uh, this year at mask fest in uh, Indianapolis that truck was there um, with a fully costumed uh, person as creeper um, which was really cool to see um, and and when the character's done right you know with a with a really high quality mask and um, a good costume. It is it is an intimidating and, and scary looking character. Um, this mask maybe isn't, um, doesn't have that dark sort of feel to it or scary, super scary feel to it, but I like it. It's okay. And it's a movie tie-in mask. It displays pretty well. So um, I don't think they're that hard to find if you can come across one for a good price. I'd add it um, to your collection if you, if you uh, are a fan of, you know, movie monsters or this movie in particular, it's a good one to have. So um, that's about it on this one. Um, and again, that's the 2010 Don Post Studios Jeepers Creepers. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.